Hi, this is Linda here with MathLite, and I'm here to explain to you how to solve these logic puzzles. And here we have an example puzzle. So let's take a look at it. It says, Clayton and his three friends, Titus, Kyla, and Audrey, love to hang out. Recently they had a blast bowling, even though someone hit more gutters than pins. While they were playing, they each had on a different colored shirt, brought a different snack to share, were in a different mood, and had something unique happen to them. It's your job to figure out what each person was up to. So as you look at this, this has already arranged all the possibilities. So for example, someone wore each color shirt. So here it gives all four possibilities for Clayton, for Titus, for Kyla, and for Audrey. Same thing with the snacks. Clayton brought one of these snacks, Titus brought a different one, Kyla brought a different one, and Audrey brought a different one. And so it's arranged this way because it's going to help us figure it out. I'll show you in a minute. Now the key to these logic puzzles is not to guess. Do not try to guess. If you try to guess, you're really going to create a mess and it's going to be really hard to solve. So what you want to do instead is look for things that you know for sure and either or something that you know for sure it's not. If you know it's not, you can cross out that possibility. And if you know it is, then you can choose that, circle it or highlight it. Let me go through and I'm going to just work th through this one. I'm going to talk out loud what I'm thinking so that you can see how to work these puzzles. All right, let's start with this first clue. I'm going to zoom in a little bit more. The person who wore black won both games. All right, well, if we knew who wore black, that would help. Or if we knew who won both games, that would help. But we don't, so we're going to move on. The person who wore red was so glad one of the boys brought watermelon. Okay, we don't know for sure who wore red. Um, but it says one of the boys brought watermelon. So let's see, Clayton and Titus are the boys, Kyla and Audrey are the girls. So we know that neither Kyla nor Audrey brought the watermelon. So we can cross out both of those. Let's keep going. The person who hit 20 gutter balls was understandably frustrated. All right, this will help us in the future, but once again, we still don't know who either of those people are. All right, here we go. Clayton did not wear black. Well, that's definitely helpful. Clayton did not wear black. We're going to cross that out. Now, since that's all that clue is going to help us with, I'm going to cross, cross out that clue too so I know we've gotten everything we can out of that clue. Let's keep going. One of the girls brought chips. All right, so chips is either Kyla or Audrey. So that means Titus couldn't have brought chips and neither could Clayton. All right, that clue, we've done everything we can with that. We'll cross that one out too. Neither Clayton nor Titus bowled a strike all day. Okay, if neither of them bowled a strike, then Clayton definitely didn't get the first his first strike, and neither did Titus. Now, we could speculate that maybe they couldn't have won if they didn't get a strike, but we don't know that for sure. We don't know how bad the girls were. So we're not going, once again, we're not going to guess anything. We're only going to write down the things we are absolutely sure about. And the only thing we're sure about is that neither of them got their first strike. All right, we did everything we can for that clue, so that one goes away too. Here's a great clue that's super helpful. Audrey wore a red shirt. That's nice. We know that. So we're going to take, that's for sure true. Audrey wore a red shirt. So I'm going to highlight that. That is the correct answer. All right. Now, since I know Audrey wore a red shirt, that means Kyla didn't wear a red shirt. Neither did Titus. And neither did Clayton. It also means I can cross these possibilities out too. You might be knowing, why would I cross them out? Why would, I, why would I bother to do that? Well, it helps because in the future, we might be able to see. Right now, do you notice with this black shirt, we've already narrowed it down that it's either Titus or Kyla. So crossing that out helps just make, it helps make it very clear what options are left. So you always want to cross things out when you can. All right, we did all that. That one's completely done. Titus was so excited to go bowling. All right, so Titus is the one that's excited. That's a nice, helpful clue. We're going to just fill that in completely. All right, so Titus is the one that's excited. So once again, that means none of these other people are the ones that's excited. There's something else, so I'm going to cross all those out. And once again, we already know Titus was excited, so he's not any of these. Let's keep go. Oh, and we're done with that clue. Let's keep going. Audrey was surprised the person who tripped and fall was still so excited. 
Ah, so did you notice we already know Titus is the one that's excited, so that means he's also the person who tripped and fell. Awesome. And that means none of these other people tripped and fell. So we can cross all that out. And then, of course, it also means that Titus um, didn't do any of these other things. Do you see how we're just doing piece by piece? We're not, we're not worrying about anything else. We're just doing the pieces that we know. All right, so we figured out everything we could from that one. Audrey came in second place on the first game. All right, does that help us at all? Well, it does, because if she came in second place, then she didn't win. So she's not the one that won both games. And that's all we can get from that clue, too. So we'll cross out that clue. All right, let's look down here. The person who brought juice did not win both games. Uh, that's still not that helpful for us, because we don't know who won both games or who brought juice. Um, Kyla did not bring the cookies. Okay, so Kyla did not bring cookies. We can cross that out. Uh, that's all we know on that one. The person who wore a yellow shirt brought the juice. At first glance, that doesn't help us at all, but it actually does a little bit because we know uh, Audrey wore red. So if the person who brought yellow brought the juice, then Audrey's not that person. So Audrey did not bring the juice, so we can cross that out. We're going to leave this clue um, here, though, because we might, need, we might be able to use this more in the future. All right, neither of the boys brought cookies. All right, so let's cross out cookies for both of the boys. Wait a second. Look at this line right here. Do you see how everything is crossed out except this one? Audrey is the only person left that could have possibly brought cookies. So that means that we're going, she must be the one that brought the cookies. So that's awesome. So, of course, that means she didn't bring the chips. Now, wait a second. All the people with chips are crossed out except for Kyla. So Kyla must have been the one to bring the chips. See how it's starting to come together? And then, of course, Kyla didn't bring the juice. All right, let's keep going. The person who wore a yellow shirt brought... Oh, I'm sorry. We already did that. We'll come back to that in a minute. Neither of the boys brought cookies. We're done with that one. You know what? Actually, though, let's back up a second. Because we just said the person who wore a yellow shirt brought the juice. We know who brought the juice. Oh, we still don't know. Never mind. I thought that was helpful, but we don't know who brought the juice yet. So we'll keep going. The person who wore blue couldn't believe he hit 20 gutter balls. Wait a second. He. That was a nice special clue they just gave there. So it was one of the boys that hit 20 gutter balls and one of the boys that were blue. Okay. So if it's one of the boys that hit 20 gutter balls, we already know it can't be Titus. So it had to be Clayton. So Clayton's the one that hit 20 gutter balls. And so that was not either one. That was not Kyla or Audrey. All right, now we're making some progress here because this clue also said the person who wore blue couldn't believe he hit 20 gutter balls. So we also know now that Clayton wore blue, um, which means nobody else wore blue. All right, and Clayton didn't wear yellow. All right, and back down here, did you notice over here the only thing left for Audrey is that she must have been the one that got the first strike because everything else is crossed off for her. So she got the first strike, which means no one else did, which means Kyla must have won both games. So she won both games. Awesome. So we got a lot of figured out. All right, let's keep going. We figured that out. Kyla kept wishing that her friend would stop acting so annoyed. All right, now if she wished someone else would stop acting annoyed, that means she wasn't the one that was annoyed. It was somebody else. So we're going to cross off that. And that's all we can get out of that clue. All right, you might think, how can we possibly solve this? But remember, we skipped some clues because they weren't helpful yet. Let's see if they're helpful now. The person who wore black won both games. Well, now we know who Kyla was the one that both won both games. So she must be the person who wore black. So she didn't wear yellow. And the only one left is Titus must be the one wearing yellow. We are almost done. So now we did that. Um, then we said the person who wore red was so glad one of the boys bought watermelon. Okay, that's great, but that doesn't that 
that solved as much as we can. The person who hit 20 gutter balls was understandably frustrated. Okay, so we know now that Clayton hit 20 gutter balls, so he's the one that's been frustrated. So let's see, neither of these people are frustrated. And let's just cross these out just to keep everything consistent. All right, now look over here. Kyla was not annoyed, excited, or frustrated. So she must be the one who is grateful. And then that leaves right here. Um, Audrey must be the one that's annoyed. All right, we're almost done. So we took care of that clue. Crossing out the clues isn't necessary, but it helps you not to have to keep going back over the same ones again once you know, like, I don't even have to look at these because I know I did everything I could with them. The person who brought juice did not win both games. Uh, okay, that doesn't really help us. So the person, we know it's one of these guys, and we know neither of them won both games. So that's not really helpful. The person who wore a yellow shirt brought the juice. We now know Titus wore a yellow shirt, and so he's the one that brought the juice which means that Clayton must be the one who brought the watermelon. And that's it. We've solved the entire puzzle. Um, if you had to fill it in, you would now say Clayton wore a blue shirt, watermelon, was frustrated, hit 20 gutter balls, Titus wore yellow, brought juice, was excited, tripped and fell, etc. So you know all the pieces. Once again, did you catch that what you had to do was take things one at a time? Don't ever guess. Just simply do what you can. Don't worry about what you don't know yet and just keep moving. If you gradually do what you know for sure, you'll be able to solve the whole puzzle eventually. Have fun. You'll get a lot better as you go along.